Hi, and welcome back to Cut the Craggle. Today, we're going to be taking a look at my second custom LEGO Back to the Future collectible minifigure series. Last month, I created a custom minifig series based on the original 1985 movie. This time, we're focusing on the second installment in the trilogy, Back to the Future Part 2. If you haven't already, be sure to check out the first series. And remember, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Now it's time to reveal the first custom minifigure in this series. First up, of course, we have Marty McFly. Based here on the outfit he wears when impersonating his own son in the far distant future of 2015. What do you mean 2015 was seven years ago? I had already finished designing this minifig before LEGO revealed the new Creator Expert DeLorean with 2015 Marty and Doc minifigures. Heck, I made a version of this character back in 2017, and truth be told, I still think both of mine are way better. It comes with a brand new printed torso with printed arms, legs with printed even on the sides of his legs, and those are dual molded so you don't get that ugly break in the design like LEGO's official offering. My favourite part of this minifigure though, is this new combined hat and hair piece. For an accessory, Marty comes with his iconic hoverboard, which first appeared in the LEGO Dimensions level pack. And as well as this determined, kinda angry expression, he also comes with a second, much more alarm face print, as well as an extra hair piece for when he's lost his cap. Technically this version of Doc Brown originally appeared at the end of the first movie, but it's much more closely associated with part 2. Like Marty, an official version is also coming in the new DeLorean set, but I still like my design. He has a brand new face print showcasing his visor sunglasses. The printing for his long yellow coat extends across his torso onto his hips and legs, and he also has dual molded arms for his rolled up sleeves. You might have spotted that he is also wearing two new wristwatch pieces. These were inspired by the Playmobil watch piece from their Back to the Future figures, and are meant to just snap onto a minifigure's arm. For accessories, Doc has two printed tiles for both versions of the future newspaper, Brick Today. The first one showing Marty McFly Jr. being arrested, but the second has him replaced by Biff's vicious grandson, Griff Tannen. When Marty heads into the Cafe 80s, the first person he recognises is his enemy in time, Biff Tannen, now a grumpy old man. Old Biff has a brand new printed head, showing all his wrinkles and age spots, as well as a new printed torso and legs. He also comes with a new dual molded hairpiece that shows his balding scalp under his thin comb over. He has two face prints. The first is this confused, but also kind of angry expression. And then for his second face print, he has a scarily sinister smile. For Biff's cane, I've given him a specialised bar piece with a gold minifig hand on top. And his second accessory is a new printed tile for the infamous Sports Almanac. Then we have Biff's cybernetically enhanced grandson, Griff Tannen. He's got a brand new printed torso with printed arms, hips and legs. And to complete his futuristic look, Griff has a brand new hat piece for his helmet, and a new modified tile piece for the bottoms of his spiked boots, making him taller than a regular minifigure. I did consider printing the helmet strap on his head, but ultimately decided against it. Since I couldn't give him a second face print because it would be visible from the back, I figured this way you could swap out the head for 1955 Biffs from Series 1 if you wanted more expressions. And for his accessory, he comes with an extendable Slugger 2000 baseball bat. Next, we're heading over to Hilldale to meet Marty and Jennifer's future teenage daughter, Marlene McFly. For her 2015 Freds, Marlene comes with a brand new printed torso, as well as printed hips and printed legs with side printing. Fun fact, Marlene was actually portrayed in the movie by Michael J. Fox. In one scene, he plays three different parts, including Marty, Marlene, and her brother Marty Jr. I did consider including a minifigure of Marty Jr. in this series, but decided it would be too similar to my 2015 Marty minifigure. 
Marlene has two alternative face prints, and for accessory, she comes with a printed bottle of futuristic perfect cola. Then we have Lorraine McFly, now an old lady and a grandmother. She uses the same Hollywood starlet hairpiece I gave her 1955 version in series 1, this time in white, and I based her new face print around that original design as I wanted it to be recognisable that this is the same person, just a few decades older. She's wearing a bright red top with a floral pattern that is printed all over her torso, arms, hips, and even the tops of her legs as well. For her accessory, Grandma Lorraine comes with a brand new chrome 1x1 tile, printed with the design for the foil packet of dehydrated pizza she feeds the McFly family. And she even has a second face print with a very grumpy looking expression, because old people are never happy. Following close behind and upside down is Lorraine's husband, George McFly. This minifigure is also based on the same scenes as Marlene and Lorraine set in the 2015 McFly residence. George comes with an assembly for the awful Lev device he is strapped into after throwing out his back on the golf course. Whilst I've used the utility belt piece to represent the harness, it's actually attached to George by the backs of his legs. And it also has a stand in trans clear pieces to give the illusion that is floating. Since George is upside down, I've given him a brand new molded piece for his hair flopping down off his head. He comes with two expressions, the first being this very happy smile, and the second has him with a comically wide open mouth because he's so hungry he could eat a whole pizza by himself. Rounding off this little collection of 2015 McFly family minifigures is Marty himself. By this time, he's middle-aged and working for the man. He's wearing a dark orange suit and has a printed torso showing his pale purple shirt with twin neckties, as well as printed legs. And to show his age, I've given him the receding hairpiece in dark tan. Like with Lorraine and George, I revisited my original design for this character's face prints and then aged him up. Here he has a very serious expression, almost as if someone has just accused him of being chicken. And then he has an alternate face print with a much more distressed look to go with this printed tile of the facts he sent when his boss fires him. Marty and Doc return from the future to find a very different 1985 than the one they left. Tannen is now rich and powerful and married to Marty's mum. This version of Lorraine is based on how she appears in that alternate 1985. She has printing all over her torso, arms, as well as printing all over her hips and legs too. I decided again to go with minifigure legs rather than a dress piece, as I felt it suited the look of her outfit better and also gives her more articulation. And for accessories, she has a bottle piece and a dual molded glass for her totally non-alcoholic beverage. Next, we have Biff Tannen himself. This version is also based on how he appears in the alternate Biff Horrific 1985. Specifically, the scene where Marty confronts him about the sports almanac he used to win his fortune. This minifigure was chosen by one of my channel members, Jacob Neely. I run a contest on my members only Discord server to win the chance to pick a figure for this series, and he won! Remember, you too can join my memberships by clicking on the join button below. Biff is wearing a dark blue dressing gown, his torso print shows off his heavy gold chains, and is also emblazoned with a shiny logo with a picture of himself munching on a cinnamon stick. I've given him the Fred hairpiece from Lego Scooby-Doo, and I think it works surprisingly well for his 80s Trump style bouffant. He's got a revolver piece for an accessory, and as well as this malevolent smirk, he has an alternate face print with a much more confused expression, as if he's just seen a flying DeLorean. Heading back to 1955, we have Marty McFly in the most inconspicuous disguise ever. He has a brand new dual molded combined hat and hairpiece, a new printed headpiece with dark sunglasses, and a new printed torso showing the leather jacket over his red t-shirt. Even this far into the trilogy, Marty is actually still wearing the same shirt, jeans and trainers from the first movie, so I've reused the legs I originally created for the 1985 version in Series 1. He's also fully loaded with accessories. 
Not only does he have a walkie-talkie and binoculars, but this Marty also has a printed 2x3 tile for the letter Doc Brown sends him from 1885. Because he already has so many accessories, I haven't given this Marty an extra hairpiece. But if you really wanted to be accurate to this scene, you could always swap in the spare one from his 2015 minifig. Stranded in time, there's only one man who can help Marty. This version of Doc Brown is based on his outfit when lightning strikes the clock tower in 1955. Like with my previous 55 version of Doc, he uses the same Widow's Peak hairpiece, but he also comes with a brand new printed torso, hips and legs. On his head, the bandaid is now gone, and we can see the cut above his eyebrow. Of course, this outfit was first seen in the original movie. I regretted not including it in Series 1, and it seems a perfect fit to end Series 2 on, as it's seen again in the final moments of the second movie, when Marty returns to tell Doc that he's back from the future. Set this up for the third series based on Back to the Future Part 3. So there you have my Lego Back to the Future collectible minifigures series 2. 12 minifigures covering the second movie. This is my favourite in the trilogy and I had so much fun creating these designs. The only downside is not being able to have physical minifigures of them because I want them all. If I had to pick, my two favourites would probably be my 2015 Marty McFly and Griff Tannen. Let me know which is your favourite in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and if you haven't already, be a legend and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time. Laters!